Hey, what's going on, guys? Jay Will here again at Veteran Review. Getting ready to give you guys another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends Infinity Ultron Build a Figure Waves Agent Sharon Carter. Or should I just say Sharon Carter since he's no longer an agent? But yeah. Uh, glad to go ahead and pick this girl up. I been, think I've been waiting on getting her for like quite a while. Uh, I think she may have been the second to last figure in this wave that I was able to pick up. Do my little uh, egg hunt or my little chase, as I like to call it. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it off her stand here. And before we get into the video, guys, I gotta let you guys know that I have a raffle going on for you guys right now. The current item for the test raffle is a brand new sealed in box deluxe Iron Man. I have about three or four of these, so uh, definitely gonna give you guys the opportunity to win. I'll be putting my Cash App name down in the comment section and uh, in the uh, description so that way you guys can find it and know how to get in touch with me. Uh, it's going to be $2 per ticket guys so the only way to win is to play. You can buy as many tickets as you want and uh, it will be running from June 1st to June 31st and during the first week of July I will be doing a video on the winner when I do my uh, nice little uh, ticket pulling session or whatever you want to call it. So you guys definitely want to get in on that so hit the subscribe button uh, hit the notification bell that way you guys be looped in and hit the like button as well leave your comments and thoughts after the video so that way you guys you know be come part of the community and join the family I'm pretty sure you guys have fun here uh yeah so let's go ahead and bring it back in a little bit closer let's take a quick look at the packaging here and then we'll get to know this character a little bit more we have the Marvel Legends window box here the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Sharon Carter. That's some artwork right there on the side. That's some more artwork on the other side. I believe it's just reflected across. Yep. That is the wave of who all you need to get if you want to build the Infinity Ultron. Got some more artwork right there at the top. Got a little bit of a reader right there. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And yeah, other than that, not much else going on for the packaging. So let's bring her a little bit closer again and do some quick comparisons. Because I don't have a whole lot of the uh, other characters from the show out of their packaging. they all going to be reviewed later on down the line. I have the uh, John Walker figure, both of them, the uh, red and blue and the um, black and uh, red versions. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the uh, comic book versions some of the characters she's seen with we have Steve Rogers, John Walker, James Buchanan aka Bucky and Sam Wilson so you can see how those look together go ahead and bring these back out and let's go ahead and bring in the rest of the guys that she has uh, come apart with in this wave. The only other figures I've, bring out, I've already brought out and reviewed for this wave so far, which is almost all of them. We have Kate Bishop, Mr. Knight, we have Clint Barton, Hawkeye, we have She-Hulk, and we have Miss Marvel. So those are all the figures from the wave that I've taken out and reviewed so far. And of course I'm reviewing Sharon Carter right now. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these guys back out. They look pretty good. I'd say it's a pretty decent wave. And as far as accessories go, Sharon here comes with this super soft plastic, uh, I guess, tactical knife. I don't remember seeing her use this in the show, but it looks pretty cool. I don't like how soft it is, though. It's like almost like too soft to be like you know practical for a figure. See, and then she comes with her little baton here. Nice, has a nice little hand of grip right there. She comes with a set of down to business hands. And the set of grip hands that she already has equipped. And as far as Ultron goes, she comes with the head 
of Infinity Ultron. And his staff slash uh, baton, oh not baton, but um, spear deal here. So, nice. Let's bring her closer again, yet again, and get a closer look at her. Nice sculpting all the way throughout. Jacket looks pretty nice, like the wrinkling going on, going on throughout the uh, sleeves right there. Pretty simple look, basic street clothes. No need too much, I'm guessing. Uh, from a distance, I feel like the face captures the uh, actress's face a little bit more from a distance. When you get it right up on it, it kind of like just throws it off a little bit. But like a little bit further off, I guess, I don't know, it kind of looks like her a little bit more, I guess. But the jacket is made of a soft plastic. The, the outer jacket or coat and the inner jacket are made of a softer plastic. So, for all you customizers out there, you can probably pop the arms off, put some different arms on and take the jacket off. It gave me, I don't know, like a custom character. Uh, of your choice I'm assuming so yeah the jacket does come off so that's pretty cool a soft uh, movable uh, hood piece right here too behind her neck too just in case you guys were wondering and as far as articulation goes her head can look up not really kind of pretty much either dead on or just slightly above eye level looks down about that far but her hair starts to kind of like move her head back in place you get a little bit of head tilt, ever so slight. So he's using a ball joint or a dumbbell joint in the neck. Shoulders can move out to the sides that far, down that far. They can go all the way around. So the single jointed elbow that bends in about a little less than 90 degrees. Unfortunately, I do prefer now that they have shown me what they can do. They've shown me they they can do double jointed pinless joints on females, so I kind of prefer that now on all of them. We do get the swivel right there and swivel in the bicep on the uh, single jointed bend right there. First swivel, back and forth in motion in the hands. You get a upper diaphragm joint. Allows it to crunch back a little bit. Get the jacket out of the way so you guys can see. And it crunches forward about that much, so not a whole lot, but just enough. And of course, you get the rotation in there. Legs kick out to the sides that far. Kick to the front, that much. Kick to the back, not really. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees that bend in that far. I'm using this on the uh, right knee right now because the left one is like locking up on me. So I'm using a uh, right one so it doesn't break the left leg. Then of course she does have ankle pivot, as well as up and down motion in the feet. So you do get a nice little uh, value for this figure. I think I pay maybe um, like I want to say 18 to 20 bucks for her. But that was pretty much just because I needed to complete the collection. Do I think she's a must get if you're not interested in building the Ultron? Uh, can't say. Not really. Just being straight up honest with you guys. She does look good though. Fairly decent figure. Fairly decent female figure. Mold and everything. Worth the pickup if you are building the Infinity Ultron, but if not, and you're just looking to see if you want to get like another female figure just to, you know, maybe do a custom with, I say you can go ahead and get her for about that price range. It's not too crazy. But yeah, guys, appreciate you all coming out. Um, like I said, I have to do have the raffle program that I'm doing right now, so go ahead and uh, hit that cash app up, $2 per ticket. Get your name in there as many times as you want to win the Deluxe Iron Man, and just send me your amount and the uh, the the uh, other or reasons for just uh, put your full name, the uh, number of tickets you're trying to get, and a code word that only you and I will know. So that way I can confirm who you are whenever I announce you as the winner, and I don't accidentally give your Iron Man to someone that's not you but happens to have the same name. So yeah, and as always, guys, appreciate you all, and stay stay safe out there. Later.